Welcome back to Black Girls Living Well. Hair discrimination impacts countless people in professional settings and beyond. From assumptions that natural Black hairstyles are unprofessional and distracting, to dress code policies banning protective styles like braids and locks, hair discrimination limits opportunities and sends harmful messages early on. Dealing with intolerance, bias, and unfair treatment over something as natural as your hairstyle is an unfortunate reality for many. Whether it's at school, work, or just going about daily life, judgments and restrictions placed on hair can have real impacts. In this video, we'll hear directly from several individuals who were brave enough to speak out about the hurtful comments, policies, and injustices they faced simply due to their hairstyle choices. From being told their natural curls or protective styles like braids were unprofessional, to explicitly being denied opportunities. These stories expose the prevalence of hair discrimination. I'm Black and I was in the Air Force and would get told constantly to go cut my hair by the white management, even though it was in regulations. They would claim it was too long, which was BS. It was shorter than all these white guys with high and tight haircuts. I know they wanted to say they thought my natural curly hair looked unprofessional, but they didn't want to seem racist. My job put Afro under inappropriate hairstyles in the official HR training book. They only recently took that out. Remember folks, racism is malignant because it can be incredibly subtle. But I would have been written up if I didn't burn my hair every week. Black woman here, it's amazing how differently I'm treated simply based off how my hair looks. Straight, she's a decent citizen for a black person. Natural, lock your effing doors. Educator here, Kids get removed from class, disciplined, sent home, etc., all the time because of hair discrimination. Yes, the teacher should know better, but the systemic issue here is that these practices are enshrined in many schools' dress code guidelines, which promote white Eurocentric standards of dress and grooming through thinly veiled prejudicial language. Whenever I wear my hair in braids, locks, and twists, the people I work with are very mean, rude, and unhelpful towards me. If I say hello, they won't even look me in my face. But if I wear the worst wavy hair weave, people treat me in the opposite manner. I've been natural since 2004. I worked as a forensic scientist, which required me to testify in court on some occasions. I'll never forget the way the jury looked at me when I was called to the stands to testify. I was professionally dressed in a suit, but I wore my hair out in an afro. Some looked with complete shock that I was the forensic scientist on the case but the black people there kind of smiled and gave the nod. Based on my experience of working in corporate environments, people are nicer, more helpful, patient, and friendly towards me when I wear soft, wavy hair. But when I wear small braids or locks, people react to me in the polar opposite manner. Discrimination in relation to black hair is rife. A friend's daughter went to a private school, and she was removed from her classes for the entire day because there was a zigzag parting in her hair. My high school told me that I had to take my braids out within a week or else I'd be expelled just because my braids were black and gray. They said that wasn't natural, but they don't say anything when it comes to the white girls dyeing their entire hair pink, blue, or orange, and that's totally unfair. I'm half black and have a fro. I always hated my hair. People would ask me if it was real. Put it up, get a relaxer. I've even been told it's too distracting. I've been asked if it's clean. I walked into an interview, and he said, what are you going to do with that? As if it was a trash bag full of garbage. I now love my hair. I constantly wear it out in my fro and take such great care of it. Honestly, love yourself and your hair. Altering your looks solely based on the responses of society is not the answer. I'm mixed race with long curly 3C hair. I've been told to tame it, put a brush through it every once in a while, and make it look more presentable amongst other things by higher ups at my last company. What made it worse, after I fought so hard to be allowed to wear my hair out, a new employee I was training complained that it was distracting and then the whole battle started all over again. I've legitimately had people asking me, why don't I just straighten it because it looks so much better? F all of that, I'm gonna rock my fro. At one of my old jobs, our manager would constantly complain if any of the employees of color had their natural hair even stated out loud that they were making the business too ghetto. Yet us white employees could roll out of bed and into work without brushing our hair, and she wouldn't say anything. Worst manager I have ever had. Whenever I wear my natural hair to work, 
My coworkers and the customers shopping there ask me why my hair isn't done. In fourth grade, my librarian at school started screaming at my friend that her hair was disrespectful and that she should be suspended. She had braids and large beads in her hair that, quietly, knocked together when she moved her head. I remember even as a kid being shocked and pissed off that she would say something like that to her. Our hair is an expression of our heritage, identity, and individuality. No one should be made to feel ashamed or encounter barriers over how they choose to wear it. I hope these honest testimonies will raise awareness, spark reflection and conversations, and ultimately inspire positive changes in attitudes and policies surrounding hair. Have you ever experienced hair discrimination? Feel free to share your story or feedback in the comments below. And if you have a confession to share, you can send your anonymous confessions to us via DMs on X, TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. You can also comment on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and click that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my love